Hey there everybody, Radically Modder back once again with an article from The Daily Wire. What? Oh, Ben Shapiro is back once again with more spicy FBI crime statistics. I think that's where he's going here. Let's find out. The left's new favorite lie, widespread white on black violence. Why don't you tell us about those 1350 crime stats, Ben Shapiro? This week, a 16-year-old boy named Ralph Yarrow, black, accidentally rang a doorbell of an 84-year-old white man, Andrew Lester. According to reports, Lester then shot Yarrow twice through the door, wounding him in the head and arm. According to Clayton County Prosecutor Zachary Thompson, I can tell you there was a racial component. No, you can't. You made that up. The fact pattern immediately sent, salv immediately sent the salivary glands of the media and Biden administration into override, drooling with excitement. The media headlined the Jarl shooting for days. Biden himself invited Jarl, who survived, to the White House. That's a purposely political act then. Yeah, we want to raise attention to this by having him come to the White House. He's a, he's a, he's a victim of a terrible, tragic crime. The real reason for the journalistic and political uh, feeding frenzy is clear. For the political left, the narrative of white supremacy must be maintained. What's more, shocking example of that narrative must be found. Jarl's shooting fit the bill. Americans are supposed to believe, as Jarl's eternal put it, that blackness is under attack. This is a lie. Not only is it a lie, it is a blatantly idiotic idiotic and devastatingly counterproductive lie. That lie provides the impetus towards undercutting police presence in high crime areas. It provides the basis for racially discriminatory government policies. It provides a foundation for argument that all disparities between the races are a result of white discrimination. This is far more troubling in America. While the vast, while most violent crime is interracial, white is intraracial, white on white, or black on black, for example. In cases in which blacks and whites have violent interaction, blacks are overwhelmingly the perpetrators, not the victims. Is that a per number or per like capita stat, Ben? Could you elaborate? In 2000, oh, thank you, Ben. In 2019, for example, 3299 white 3299 white Americans were murdered. 566 or 17% were killed by black perpetrators. That same time 2966 black Americans were murdered. Or 246 or 8% killed by white perpetrators. So that's this is where they're going to get you, Ben. They're going to say no. 2900 is great. Oh wait. What are they going to say? More white Americans. By statistic? <laughs> okay. More white Americans by percentage and total quantity are killed by <laughs> black Americans <laughs> than the other way around. Damn, Ben got the friggin... He got the math right. He lucked out here. Because it, it could have been a way where... Statistically, one's higher, but the absolute totals are greater. So it, it looked like, depending on which way, you'd be both. But no, this way, blacks are more violent. On average, <laughs> no, it's where the data says. That. I didn't say that. I, I was YouTube gods, I'm sorry. The data says that same year, 2,906 black Americans were murdered, or 246, right, were killed by white perpetrators. Adjusted for population size, because this is very important to do that type of stuff. There are far more whites in America than blacks. This means that approximately one out of every million white Americans is killed by a black Amer a person in 2019, while 12 out of every, hold on, wait, wait, I'm gonna read this again. This means for approximately one out of every million white Americans killed a black person in 2019. Well, 12 out of every million black American killed somebody. So according to that, black people are 12 times more likely to kill a white person than a white person to kill a black person. <laughs> Oof. 
Why? 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 The numbers are reflective of a norm. Every year from 2001 on, the number of black on white killings has approximately doubled the number of white on black killings. When it comes to violent crime generally, the same sad truth applies. In 2019, there was 562,000 reported violent white black incidents. 84% were black on white. Man, that's almost like a look at that. The media routinely ignores these facts since they don't fit the narrative. In fact, the media will generally has a general tendency not even to mention the race of perpetrators of crimes if the perpetrators are black. Yeah, really? <laughs> and they'll always call out white man when he does something bad. Uh, the most, the people most harmed by these narrative failure are not white Americans, but black Americans who are predominantly victims of black crime. According to the Department of Justice in 2018, based on data from the FBI's Uniform Crime Reporting Program, black people were overrepresented amongst persons arrested for non-fatal violent crimes in 33%, and for serious non-fatal violent crimes in 36%, relative to their representation of the U.S. population, 13%. And hold on, that's not even doing it really fair, because it's not really black women who are doing all the crimes, men. So it's not six, it's more like, it's not 13, it's more like six. Understanding the facts about interracial crime presents different solutions than the lies we hear about the prevalence of white on black violence. Those include encouraging fatherhood in the home. Oh, that's such a racist take, Ben. You can't say that. Only 37% of black children are living at home with their biological father. 72% of black fathers aren't married to their mother of their children. And only 12% of children grow up in areas with poverty rate below 10%. And over half of black fathers with... And over half of black... What? I don't even understand these stats at the end there. But such discourses never take place if we focus on a lie. The lie that black victims are disproportionately... Well, it's a, it's a compelling lie. It's a juicy lie. I mean, he killed them because of the color of his skin. You can't change the... What if somebody started targeting you because of the color of your skin? How would you like it? Oh, I wouldn't like that at all. Oh, God. Hate crime. We might have a hate crime. Hate crime. Pass all the laws. Vote for me. It's all just targeting people with sub-90 IQ. Sub-80 IQs. And it's sad because there are a lot of people with those IQ and they're easily manipulated. Leave a like down below, subscribe. Ben Shapiro still got it. What do you think?